Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a little bit of a break from the eight passenger stuff just because we, I, need a mental break from it all. It's just crazy, we're gonna continue to cover it, obviously, but it's time to do a Docker D doesn't snark because I need something a little bit more lighthearted in my life just to like exit that dark stuff. And today we're talking a little bit different. We're gonna snark on Alicia's new fridge restock, but we're also gonna talk about Alex's new money-making scheme with cameos. Now, the question I have, is he trolling us? Because if he is, that's crazy. And he's making bank doing it. So let's talk about it. So if you go over to TikTok and you type in Alex Doherty cameos, Okay, it's this big thing that he's doing right now. If you don't know what a cameo is, it's like you sign up for the service as, an, as a creator. People pay you to create like birthday greetings for people and like they just, they want it from a creator, an influencer, or a famous person. Um, I don't do it because I just, like if you want me to say happy birthday to somebody that likes me and they're a fan of mine or whatever, I'm not gonna charge you for it. Like I will often, I'll, people who ask, hey, can you make a message for my wife, for my husband, or whatever? We love you. Love to, you know, say hi. I'll just be like, on your birthday, just give me a holler, and I will like just talk to them because I don't think I don't know why you want to talk to me, but hey, if it's important to you, thanks for watching my stuff. I'm not gonna charge for that stuff. I just I just don't find any. I just don't want to charge. I think it's silly. Anyway, Alex is thinking that he's an influencer because technically, yeah. He is. He's in a channel with his mom that has 1.4 million subscribers just on YouTube and over 6 million on TikTok. They're watched by a lot of people. But Alex Doherty isn't just an influencer. He His whole brand is him being bullied by people on TikTok, and it's like he's capitalizing on it. Now, don't forget, Alex turned 18. He's, he's an adult now. And so we're allowed to talk about him because he is the one making the choices now that he gets to put out there. Like, as soon as you turn 18, you're an adult, you can do this. And Alex decides he wants to continue out on this platform and make the content he's making, even though he's going to get bullied for it. But he's doing it because he's making money. So my question is, is he trolling? Has Alicia stepped in and said, okay, well, if you're going to do this, let's let's double down because we know that Alicia does this with her content, especially the one we're going to cover here, where she's doing this new thing where she restocks their mini fridges with absolute garbage because she knows she gets tons of comments about it. She knows she gets tons of hate about it. And so she does it on purpose. Are her kids actually eating all that candy? Probably because that's all they eat anyway. But Alex is doing these videos and then people started ordering them and there's, I'm, I'm not sure if there's hundreds, but there are lots of them. Everybody posts them on TikTok because they're getting millions of views, some of them, more than he'll ever get. And they're doing it to make fun of them. But these are the videos he's making. And I'm gonna do, <laughs> Just watch this video. Happy birthday, me ma. I hear you're turning 97 and you're in a nursing home, so I hope that you get better soon. <laughs> the, reason, the reason I don't think he's doing this on purpose is because nobody is that intentionally funny, especially nobody from this family. Like intentionally funny by saying, I hear that you're 97 and in a nursing home, so I hope you get better. <laughs> Do you think this 97 year old person is gonna get better? <laughs> They're in a nursing home because that's the end of life care that they require. <laughs> I hope you get better. <laughs> I don't know if he's trolling or not, but listen to this, <laughs> me <Meemaw. laughs> And he's reading something. I hear that you get to see my content, content every visit. I <laughs> uh, hear that you love it so much. Um, <laughs> what content? Is this ninety-seven-year-old lady really like? I really love Alex Stockney's yeah. content. <laughs> so, and I hear that you also live with a lot of a lot of siblings. Um, Mima. Mima does? Mima. At the... <laughs> keep saying are that. gonna survive a very long, long time. Just realize that, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Mima. Mima, you are gonna survive a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? 
saying she's 97. <laughs> This is so funny. It's crazy. Just, just know that. Just, just know that. Right? Just, okay. just know that. Peace. Peace. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking he's trolling. Is he unintentionally the most hilarious person ever? Because if that was unintentional, or sorry, if that was intentional to be hilarious, that's amazing. That the, the sense of humor you have to have, the heightened sense of humor you have to, to put something like that together, but he's not. That's the thing, he's not. And he's like a comment. Mima, you're going to survive a very long time. <laughs> it's hurting. <coughs> I can't believe this is real. This one had him stumped. He didn't know where to go with this one. Just know that. Just know that you're going to survive this. <laughs> the, the comments are the funniest part. Oh my gosh. He couldn't, like, stood up, turned on a light, and practiced a little bit more. Bro was trying to riz Mima up. <laughs> like, I can't breathe. Mima, Mima, you're going to survive. I'm making a shirt. I don't care. I'm capitalizing on it. Mima, you're going to survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. Just know that. So a lot of 97 is young. Peace. <laughs> Alex. I'm sorry, dude. 97 is not young. I don't care. <laughs> 97 is young. Oh my gosh. See, that's not even like the funniest one. Where is it? There's one. Oh yeah, he says, POV, my boyfriend gets me a cameo from Alex Docherty to tell him I have asthma and he films it mid shit. You see, I hear that you got asthma now. Uh, just know that I used to and it's a really hard thing. Just, you'll get through it. Peace. <laughs> He's sitting on the toilet. He's legitimately... Sitting on the toilet saying this to somebody. <laughs> and you can hear the plops. The plops. It's the funny. I can hear the plops. <laughs> used to. It's literally uncurable. Just know that plop I used to. <laughs> it sounds so wet. Pro is making soft surf mid cameo. <laughs> He's making bag right now. The plops and strain. Oh my gosh. Filming a cameo on the toilet is absolutely insane. Bro saw the $20 hit his bank account and knew what he had to do. This will be our next cameo. $100 for these. The plops. Hello, it's the plops for me. Oh my god. So this one. Hey, so we paid $30 for this BS. He didn't even say happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> I, also, I got bullied when I was a kid for being big, and you probably do for being non-binary, but I just want to let you know that the people that say stuff to you will regret that stuff in the long run, and they have no right to be saying that because they don't know what they're talking about, okay? And you should not be this at all. So there's a couple problems with this. I understand the message behind it. Great. The guy is driving. This guy who mowed over mailboxes when he was trying to get his license. He is driving while making a cameo. That's illegal, man. You can't be driving and making videos on your phone. And he's like looking around. He's like, it didn't even say, he didn't even say happy birthday. It was supposed to be a happy birthday message. Oh my gosh. Alex Doherty Lips is crazy. Get the man some Aquaphor. Oh, man. It looks insanely painful. My boy needs some Aquaphor. Cameo while driving is crazy. Even Carmex will do. Like, he just... It, it, Alex doesn't take care of himself. Because... You know why he doesn't take care of himself? Because he was never taught how to take care of himself. He was never taught. Because Alicia doesn't pay her children any mind. She doesn't teach them anything. Including how to take care of their bodies. She puts the damn toothpaste on their toothbrushes. Which is a lie. She just does it for videos. But these kids don't 
understand basic levels of grooming and like just taking care of their bodies because she doesn't have that either. Like Alicia doesn't take care of herself either. So these kids don't know. But you got to look at this. That video has 5.1 million views on it. Okay. The one where he's taking a dump on the toilet, 960,000 views. This is your sign not to buy a cameo from Alex. Sophie, your farts, you smell like farts. You are a fart. Poop. Peace. <laughs> so, this is his cameo. And, um,. How cameo works? I guess you you buy a message from him temporarily unavailable. Follow to me know. So I guess he's been shut down. So I think Alex was selling a bunch. I think Alicia was like, "You gotta shut it down," which is really weird to me because why? Like Alicia, you literally do this and worse, and you make bank off of your kids. So this kid has only been taught to do this by you. He thinks he's an influencer, and TikTok is absolutely flooded. One point three million views. For a birthday from this, from this. Happy birthday, Emily! I hear you having a Billy Joel karaoke party, and that's really cool. Um, so I hope that you have a great day. I hear that you turned twenty-four. That is awesome. I hope that you have a great day. Peace. Made made twenty, probably twenty to thirty bucks. Make that right there. Fifteen seconds of his day made twenty twenty dollars American. Now, I hope that he's being taught by Alicia, hey, this is actually income. If you're an influencer, you've got to mark this income. If he doesn't mark this income, like that's tax fraud, that's tax evasion. So what's so he's putting all the stuff out there where people are capitalizing on these on these cameos and making their platforms grow really large off of his cameos. So people will spend the 30 bucks because it'll get them thousands of subscribers, hundreds of thousands of views. The dude is sitting on the toilet making cameos. He's getting paid to take a dump while talking to people. It is crazy. I paid 50 bucks for this. Hey, Lauren, you made it past high school. How do you feel? Good? Oh, sick, dude. Yeah. Sorry for my family. They can't be here with me right now. There's boogers. There's boogers in there. There's boogers. I'm off and about, but... I want to make this special for you. I hope you have a great day, okay? You are going to go to college. You're going to make a difference in this world, okay? Peace. <laughs> What's going on? So these are hilarious because, again, I don't think intentionally so. I think that people are doing it and he cap like... Here's the thing. This kid has been taught nothing but like, it doesn't even matter if people bullying me. It doesn't matter this content I'm putting out there. I'm making money. He thinks that making money while doing this is the only thing that matters. Now, the few hundred he made, maybe even a thousand bucks or more that he made doing these, ultimately are going to hurt him in the end. Okay? That's not worth the money. Why don't you just go ask Alicia for the money that you're owed for being in the content? She owes you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just go collect your money. You don't need to be out here embarrassing yourself on Cameo doing the least you can do for 15 seconds while making yourself look like a fool. All you're showing us is what Alicia has built into you. Now, yes, I'm making fun of Alex in these videos because these are absolutely just trash. Okay, they're absolutely garbage. But it's also sucks because this is all he's ever known. He thinks that this is going to be his career as an influence. He thinks he's going to be an influencer. Alex, you're not going to be an influencer. Okay, you're not going to be able to do it. Your mom got lucky. By doing what she did, she exploited children to get where she is. And unless you would want to exploit children too, you're not going to get very far. If Alicia didn't exploit her children, she would never be in the position she's in right now. And she wants to impart this on her kids. She, she honestly thinks that this is going to be a thing that they're going to get. Her channel is dying. Absolutely just off a cliff. And you know how I know that? Because of this. She's a B plus. She has gained 10,000, like 0% growth in the last 30 days, okay? In the last monthly statistics, she's pulled in... Remember when we first took a look at this? She was pulling in something upwards of 45 to 90 million views or 110 million views a month. She's now down to 13 million views, which a lot are from shorts. So she's absolutely not making the money she once made. This is a dying channel, and she used to be at her peak way over here. Now she's completely like, this is where she is. She used to be here. Now she's here. Okay? That was like a year ago. 
So it's absolutely bonkers that she thinks that Alex is going to be like, take over for her. But he's like, even if you look at his account, he's got 275,000 followers for what, what does he do on here? This. I don't know what that means. 10 a.m. in June. Uh, he does these things where he does unboxings. Are you sick and tired of having these crappy headphones to talk to your friends and then once they break, you have to new ones to talk to them? Well, you guys should get this uh, mic. It's on a deal now. <laughs> Are you tired of these headphones? Get this microphone. What? Now, okay. And when you get it, Hey, that's that's not the mic we're hearing, buddy. We're hearing your audio from your phone. It's easy to set up. All you gotta do is clip that on, and then I didn't put all the pieces in. Didn't and see it. Good. The dogs are barking. <laughs> I'm sorry. This thing is the quality of this is so much better than all my other mics that I've ever had. But we're not we're not hearing the quality of the microphone. I've been playing with my friends with it, and they've been saying my quality is so much better. So I think you guys should go buy your own. Peace. <laughs> but he gets like at least 1.4 million views on that, so he's probably getting paid to do this stuff, and you know he's capitalizing on it. 895,000 views on the headphone video. Like this is this is ban bananas, man. This the money that he's making on here. But again, this won't last. It's not gonna last. So, you know, at the same time, it's like almost good for you, but please go to college as well. But think about this for a second. This is all Alicia's taught this kid. And if you look at his stuff, he just completely gets bullied. That's it. Like every comment is like, when y'all break up, just remember all the times the snackerty boards have been there for you. It's all about snackerty boards. And look, that's Alicia putting out these snackerty boards and her, and he's being bullied because of the content that she puts out. But let's not forget to end this little snark session on Alex. He's 18 now. He's an adult. He has a choice to make. Do I want to perpetuate this? Do I want to continue to get bullied online? Or would I rather just go live a normal life? Like, I don't know how this doesn't affect him because, like, he is perpetually bullied by every single person on TikTok. It's, it just seems to roll off him, which is actually kind of a superpower, to be honest with you. So good for you, Alex, for doing that. But, like, as an 18-year-old now, as an adult kid, you have to make a choice. You have to say, and you can speak to your to this choice by saying, Mom, I didn't like being exploited my whole life, and I don't like that you did that, and you made all this bank off me, and now I'm completely being bullied because of everything that you do. Now, everybody can say, well, bullies shouldn't exist, and I agree with you. I would love it if bullies didn't exist, okay? Because I got bullied when I was growing up in high school and stuff like that. Um, but there will always be people who do this bully. But if you put out content that's half-assed, that you're making money on, and you're not putting any effort into it, it's not going to translate to a good career as an influencer. I promise you that. But he's been jaded. Alicia puts out garbage content and gets paid to do it, so he thinks he can do it too. And it's not going to work out for you. I mean, short-term gains for sure. Long-term pain, 100%. Okay, you got to think of your future, Alex. You're not going to be an influencer. It's not going to work for you. So you got to think about what kind of job you want to get after college, what kind of college course you want to get, a college degree. And you got to consider what this content is going to do for your future. Because that's really important. And that's why informed consent matters. Because Alex isn't going to know the future and what job prospects are going to be taken away because he puts nothing into it. He's been taught. He's not been taught how to work hard. Because if he was, his content would be good. At the very minimum, his content would be good because his parents have built into him, work hard, play hard, get paid well, but they don't because they put out garbage and they don't build into their children. This content is nothing but a, a, a view of what Alicia builds into her children. You don't have to do anything and I'll do it all for you. And even if you want to try, it doesn't matter if it sucks. That's crazy. That's going to these kids are being set up for so much failure, including their diets, including what they're taught, including the time spent because they don't get time. They don't get time spent at all. And so case in point is this waffle video she's made and she does this. She does. She starts making waffles. It is literally five o'clock in the morning and she's laying out pizza for the lunches and everything else. And then she starts making waffles as she's doing it. And she, if you can look, notice here over here, the waffles are piling it up. It's 5.15 in the morning. 
She rolls out the lunches, gets it all done with her comic sans, puts on the poop sausages, right, in the microwave like she always does. Then she lays out these waffles that have been sitting there on the counter probably another 30 minutes already. None of these waffles are warm and they're soggy AF, first of all. And she makes these boards. Like, look at the time. So I need to point out something to you. So she puts hot sausages on these boards. It is 5.30 in the morning. And at minimum, her some people are saying her kids get up at like 6. Two of the teenagers because they get to school early. Cool. If that's the case, by the time they wake up at 6, right? They get up and do their ablutions where they have a shower if they do. Um, whatever, get ready, get dressed, get socks on. By the time they get upstairs to eat, it's probably going to be more like 6.15, 6.20. That food is have going to be if that food is going to be sitting on the counter for over an hour before they even touch it. And this is what I mean. She wants to come across like she's this amazing person, but she gets up at four thirty in the morning, whatever, to look like this, which is okay. And then she makes food that's supposed to be hot, and these kids don't ever get a hot meal ever. That's all, and that's all they know. That's why it's so crazy, and that's why Alex makes the content he makes because she gets away with doing this. And if you look at the comments in this video, it's so telling, okay? It doesn't matter if it's cold or not. She makes the board for content. Kids don't get to eat it. True. Assume much? Yes, they do. Then she kiss. Here's the problem. There are people that go into the comment section of Dr. D doesn't just to fight with people who don't like them, right? Their entire personality online is to go to bat for somebody who never feeds her kids a hot meal to say, how do you know? Because it's 5.30 in the morning, dumbass. And those kids don't get up until way later. We can see. That's how we know. And then someone's like, who eats the food? Ghosts? Of course the kids eat the food. You know who eats the food? The chickens. Because the kids aren't eating this crap. Soggy waffles that are cold? You think they're going to eat that? Please know you have three beautiful dogs that could have had those sausage. A complete waste of food. Not your money. Not your food. It's this jelly. It's always, and it's always a person that in every single video, it's not always the same person, but it's always one person just running their shit through the comments. They're just like, nye, 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 nye. oh my God, you threw away some good sausage links in Jesus name. See this person, it's likely, what's her face from Australia? Aunt Lydia, whatever her name is. Congealed grease and sausages, yummy. <laughs> Money is the root of all evil, what? Not gonna wipe off the mixer? Again, Chelly's back, who cares? Not making it for you? Yes, he's making it for children. Aren't they too cold by the time the kids get up? No doubt, but they probably don't eat it anyway. Chelly's back. You assume it a lot. Most kids are up by six. Okay. And it's crazy that you know that, Chelly. Is it not weird to you that you know what time strange children that you've never met get up in the morning? You don't find that little weird little odd? And even if they did get up at six, like you're claiming here, and they don't, okay? It's 5.30. She has been making those things since 5.20. Those kids aren't going to have a hot meal and you just admitted it. <laughs> There's nothing like playing with your kid's food that they've got to eat. They're not eating it. What do you mean by playing with it? I think she may be referring to the waffle board. She doesn't tend to play around with the placement of the food. She touches everybody's food. That's what we're saying. Why do people say good morning? The waffles look delicious. Do they look delicious? Did you see the waffles? Okay. Look like used underwear. Red food coloring is awful for you. And don't forget, Alicia's admitted that that's awful for them. There's Chelly. Not your house. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. Why is the breakfast one? Why is the breakfast made at 5.20 a.m.? Why the food die? Do each of the kids need a plate-sized four-piece waffle? Do the kids actually eat this? It's serious, the weirdest thing ever to watch. I bet you Chelly's in this comment section. Then don't watch. Have you ever watched Not Enough Nelsons? Really awesome family vloggers. No, they're not. She has teen boys. Enough said. My eight-year-old son can eat and my six-year-old daughter can eat too. Okay. You think they're eating this? Just because she documents her lives does not mean that anybody can judge them. Apps. Well, sorry. No, no. It does mean that we can all judge. She's documenting it, putting it on the internet. That leaves it open for our judgment. You dumbass. Live your life and then live theirs. <laughs> if you don't agree, don't watch. No, no. You're right. Don't watch. It's true. Because she's feeding a small platoon that she wants to cook for and also has to get them up ready to go. And the first bus is at 6. The first bus is not at 6 a.m. Okay? They don't live four hours into the country. It's not at 6 a.m. There's no way the first bus comes at 6 o'clock in the morning. So cooking has to be done early because it's cute and fun. Lighten up. No, it's not. Oh, but Shelly was not in that comment section. Anyway, that's what pisses me off about this because there's still people who go to bat for her and she's just gross. 
But here's what I wanted to snark on. It's the it's another mini fridge haul. So Alicia has been capitalizing and banking on these mini fridge hauls right here. And she gets tons of hate comments for it. And she's doing this because she gets hate comments. So I need you to hear that again. Alicia creates content to rage bait. Rage baiting brings her views. It brings her a lot of negative attention as well. But she doesn't care. Her kids are at the center of all the rage bait. She makes it. The kids suffer for it. That's it. She doesn't care. And so she makes these, she unplugs these kids' fridges every week, brings them down, and does these hauls because she knows it's going to piss people off. It's the only reason she does it. But watch what she puts in these kids' fridges this week. Hi, everybody. Hey. This is Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen. And today is Mini Fridge Friday, where we are going to fill the mini fridges for my 11 kids. I absolutely hate that she gets away with this. But thank God her channel is dying. And you know what? She'll continue to do it even if she makes 10 grand a month because that's more than a lot of people make. At her, She's probably pulling in good money because she makes good money on TikTok. She's still making a lot of money, right? But imagine this. Even if she pulled in $5,000 a month, which would be absolutely peanuts for her, it's still she's still making more money than a lot of people make. And she doesn't do anything real. But eventually the spending is going to overcome what she brings in. If not already happening. Unless she's writing it, off as, uh, writing it off as business expenses, she's doing something wrong here. Unless she's paying herself a salary of like a million dollars a year, there is no possible way she gets away with this because she spent $945,000 last year, okay? There's no way she's paying herself that big of a salary because the amount of taxes the federal government would take from her. So she's going to be audited eventually and it's going to be crazy. You're not going to see it. She's not going to tell you about it, but she likely owes her corporation hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And eventually she's just going to claim bankruptcy. That's what's going to happen here. She's living the high life now. This is not going to be able to continue. She has no long lasting legacy on YouTube. She's going to be gone and she's going to be an afterthought in a year or two max. Okay. And so what she does here, she's just grasping onto the final dregs of it because this is all she has left, is to do content that rages people. Okay, that's it. Watch. But first, <laughs> um, okay. until the end, until the bitter dying end of the Bone Ape Tit channel, she's gonna say, but first coffee, and put Comic Sans on garbage. And I know she did a video where she's like, I need Comic Sans, she's like, she was obviously shooting back at me. But she's doing, now it's all because she knows what's going to get her the hate. Instead of changing your content to get more love and to, to redeem yourself, she doubles down on the things that are going to get her hate. That should tell you everything you need to know about Alicia. Okay? She does not want to change. She actually does the worst things because she knows it's going to get more rage. It's rage bait. It's more con rage content. It's it. She, imagine making your content so people hate you. That's it. And that's why Alex and all of her kids will get bullied because of it all through their lives. These kids are going to get massively bullied at school because of the content she puts out because it's absolutely cringe. Okay, it's so cringy. I asked them this morning what they wanted in their mini fridge this week. Brownies. Pudding cups. Cheerade. Fake crunch protein bar. M&Ms. Cheerade. Fake crunch protein bar. 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 Cheerade. Fake Ignore my broken nail. I'll get that fixed someday. I don't care about your broken nail. Like, ew. <laughs> Merp, pretty burp. Okay. A lot of merping going on here. And you can tell the rage content because of the amount of merp that she brings up. The merp face is her lie face, is the one where she knows she's what she's doing and she merps it. She's like, <laughs> she does that because she knows she's going to get comments on things. And she's like, loving it she's soaking it up this woman loves to be loves to be hated isn't that really weird crazy i'm taking my van to delta sonic with i'm gonna put my bangs on i'm like gonna go get some stuff from this jar i have less hair now so i can't even put it on she's been on my to-do list for a while uh and so there's like a what is going on with your hair convenience mart gas station store so we're gonna see how much of this stuff we can get there while my van's getting clean. Two, van's getting clean. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Um, 
imagine the van guys who were cleaning it open up like what in the fresh it's like they open it and the horror music starts to play oh my god this is gonna be triple it's triple okay, do you have fit crunch protein bars 329 a piece <laughs> Shots here, and then we'll have to go across the street once they're done with the van to the grocery store. Why don't you just walk across the street, you lazy ass? Right. Got Peanut butter, milk, and cookies. So let's get some of each. Ugh. There's like four bucks a pop right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. A chocolate bar is four dollars. Oh my gosh! It's like forty dollars with a chocolate. No, there's more. That's more than that. It's like sixty bucks. Fifty-five dollars for chocolate bars. All right, one down. Boom. Not related to me. <laughs> right, me, 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 fridges, but look how clean my van is. Ah. Yeah, that'll last one minute. I love Delta Sonic. Okay, let's go across the street to Tops. I was actually um reading comments of my morning routine while I was waiting for the van, and you told me that. Tops carries Wild Mike's Pizza, which I've been looking for forever. So let's get some of that too. This is 27 this is minutes long. Look at this. Every week she fills her kids' fridges up like this. And people are like, they're not eating it. She's doing it for content. No, these kids are eating this. You don't think kids are going to eat candy? This is exactly, this is all these kids are eating. These kids are the most unhealthy looking kids I have ever seen in my life. Like they look sleep deprived. They look like they don't have any one-on-one -on -one time with mom and dad. They look like they're just kind of on an island by themselves because they are. These kids are raising themselves and they're being raised by switches, by iPads. Who's to know if they're in chat rooms with strangers on Roblox and all that? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. It is crazy what she lets her kids just have in the rooms. Who lets their kids have unfettered access to as much candy as they want? That's crazy to me. And she's this is a flex where she thinks she's a good mom. At some point, people who stand up for her got to be like, that's not good. You can't let your kids have literal giant boxes of candy in their room every week that they consume that much candy every week. Like, I'm, I'm forgiving your kids some snacks here and there for sure. Having a sleepover, here's a bunch of snacks. Go hog wild on a Saturday night with your friends. I get it. But every week, these kids consume so much poisonous, toxic garbage that it is honestly a health problem. That is, it is, it's beyond anything I've ever seen. And I can't believe she's not called out more for this. Gosh. $256 to stock mini fridges for a week full of candy. She just spent $300 on absolute garbage for one week for her children. $300. $28.95 for Shopper's Club. Anyways, I'm gonna see if I have any quarters to get gumballs. Yummy, 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 yummy. Holy, why is it so loud? Okay, there's two gumballs for you. Welcome to Spring in New York. All right, we are back home. I'm going to get everything sorted, and we're going to fill the fridges. I 
thought I had dumbbells left over from a birthday party, and I did. This, okay, first of all, if you read the comments in this video, watch the comments. You'll see, and you're going to be like, yep, I can't believe she did that. First of all, there's her ratio happening again, which is good. I'm concerned for these kids because even if this is trolling, it shows that you have too much time on your hands and you're a little unstable. The amount of food waste must be insane. June is best point taken. Indeed, a plus amount of sugar the kids get all day. This woman seriously has a problem. She needs professional help. Remember when you used to say you were teaching your kids moderation with sugar? LOL. Or when you said they had health issues and they were impacted by diet? Either you stopped caring or they were never true. She just never cared. Ever. Just how many bubble gums does a child need? I'm so confused. Is this supposed to be a joke? It's basically all junk and too much for one person. That's a five-year-old. And she does it so we will rage comment. How much candy and crap does one child need? It's child abuse. I don't understand the shaking and slamming. It's not relaxing ASMR, more like annoying and angry noises. See, we're, I don't know. There's nobody coming in here to stand up for. For those who think Alicia's trolling and isn't really giving her kids that much food, then you're wrong. There is concrete evidence that her kids are eating all this junk. Look at how much they weight each kid has gained in the last few months. It's disgraceful. Yes, they don't look good. I usually don't comment, but please make sure Harley knows not to swallow all that gum. She could cause a bowel blockage or choke on it if she falls asleep with it in her mouth. That is so dangerous to leave her unattended with all that gum. Yeah, it's very true. She, she shouldn't leave a kid that small with gum. She could choke on a gumball. She could get it in her hair. She could get it anywhere. Like, it's just crazy the amount of gum she's giving her. Watching the M&Ms hit the cart made me realize this can't be real. I have to think it's a joke on viewers for some reason. I can't quite figure it out. I'm so shocked. This woman isn't joking. She bought eight effing bags just for one kid. I think she just never cared the teenager's skin is so affected by the way they eat. And why throw them in the rearrange just weird? It's not a joke. This lady is unreal. I watched her last restock and one kid had at least over 200 Hershey bars. You remember that, everybody? But why so much? If this is for a week, that's insane. Do you not know how much food kids eat on the weekends? Uh, even if kids eat a bunch of food on the weekends, this is what they're going to eat on the weekends? Their stomach is like a bottomless pit, makes it easier for us not to cook. You disgusting piece of garbage. Oh, yeah, because gumballs, airheads, and etc. are all healthy, but yay, you don't have to cook. Oh, my gosh. Alicia, come on, seriously, this is so strange. Again, she's leaving. She used to delete all these comments. Now, every single comment is negative because she's rage baiting. She's rage farming because it makes her money, but not for long. Just like the downvotes will take a toll on her and already have, this will also. These people will stop watching eventually because they're like, I don't even want to comment anymore. I don't want to watch it because it's garbage. She's not building trust with the, with the, with the viewership. They hate her, and eventually they're just going to be like, meh, I don't care anymore. Sadly, all the sugar she's giving them, you can see the pounds starting to pile on. The older kids' faces are starting to break out. She's not helping them at all. Those extra pounds are going to be hard for them to lose, especially with all the sugar that's house is tempting them with a kid. We had all kinds of fruit vegetables during the week, and we were glad if we were allowed one can of soda on Saturday and give some change for penny candy. We thought our parents were awesome for that, and we had a dessert as a treat on Sunday dinner. We were treated to go to the movie every other month with popcorn and drink. We were very thankful our parents, and there were six of us. But see, if you say something of concern for the kids and their fans come after you. Fosters adopts children, speaks about poor dental hygiene, fills a fridge full of candy. It makes no sense. Future Diabetics of America Unite. Why would you go into the snow and cook the bacon when other any other time you use that huge cookie sheet and cook in the oven? It's so funny because when she opens that oven, it's like smoke comes out. It's, it's so funny to see, actually. I'm going to put one up on Reddit. It's so funny. To watch it, it makes me laugh. <laughs> burnt pancakes. Try to hide the burnt pancakes. Around. Check this out. <laughs> it's gonna open the window. <laughs> the fire alarm's gonna go off. Watch. <laughs> Look at this. It's not, guys, it's not steam. That's smoke. It's like fire in there. Let's just burn the house down to fire why everyone's sleeping. Oh, okay. So the comments are just bananas. There's nothing good in these comments at all. Come on, Alicia, you know better. You know better. Money is, is money that important to you? Obviously it is. Stop with the candy. Do these kids ever go to the dentist? Harley needs to be careful with the gumballs. That's a choking hazard. 25 replies. She doesn't care. Thinks she knows what her child can handle and what she can't. You're such an idiot. People are so stupid. I disagree. She gives these kids whatever they ask for. She's the cool mom in her mind. So? And she doesn't need your opinion, nor does she care. She does care. Why do you think she keeps filming these? To make y'all mad. This person's right. She does it to make you mad. She uses her children's health 
to piss off her haters. Take that, haters. I'm going to literally abuse my children with diet. Take that, haters. Good one, Alicia. You really showed us. Do you care about their health? No, she's deliberately trying to make them unhealthy. I'm here for the comments. One million subscribers, but 53 comments in the comment section. <laughs> Good God, that's just insane how much gum she put in Harley's fridge. She's freaking nuts. Don't forget to pick up the insulin. <laughs> It's like a train wreck. You can't look away. That's why people are watching this right now. And they will get bored of it eventually. Yet you're supporting and giving her money. She loves you for that. See, this is like, again, it's probably Auntie Lauren. What are you doing? So basically she returns most of these items, but just does these videos. No, she doesn't return them. These kids actually eat this stuff. They eat it. You think she's returning those chocolate bars to a gas station? It's almost <laughs> get reeked. <laughs> like... Almost every single comment in here is negative. That's what she's looking for. And that's going to be the detriment in the downfall of her channel. Good. $55 on crunch bars? Is it your money? No, it's the kid's money that she's spending. If she's just trolling, it's hilarious. Why is it if she's trolling with her kid's health, it's hilarious? You think that's funny? As a woman who battled a weight problem my entire life, this is not hilarious. Even Alicia is trolling us. What's the purpose? Because of the negative comments and hate she gets, she could feed her kids nothing but vegetables and fruit, do a day in the life of the chickens, and she would still get hate comments. She has learned to block out the hate and not let anyone bring her down. She would rather have positivity in her life. If she wants positivity in her life, then why would she post this content knowing it's going to get hate? Hmm, interesting. What happened to Zoe? Why is it a black screen when it's her turn to share? That's interesting. Zoe's part played for me. They all did. No, they was blacked out. Nope, that's a lie. I did not play it all when it came to Zoe. I can see Zoe too. No problem. Uh, no, she did cut it. Some people were seeing it. Some didn't. It's interesting why they blacked out Zoe's. Maybe Zoe said she didn't want to be part of the content. Zoe asked for gummy worms. So, that's why. That's insanity. That is insanity. And smash isn't close. <sighs> That's insane. That is in <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's no way these kids feel good any day of the week. They have to be sick. They, they, she's. This is intentionally making your children sick. I think th th this is this something has to be said. She is intentionally trying to hurt her kids. Because feeding them this much junk, any doctor, any nutritionist, any teacher, anybody who knows anything about anything, any parent who's, who says this is good, they're taking crack. But anybody that you talk to, you've talked to any doctor about this. If you went to her doctor or your doctor and said, is it okay if I feed my kids this? Give them a, a list of what she feeds your kids a week and, and, and say what the doctor says. They're going to straight up say, this is poisoning your children. This is so dangerous for your children. And she does it every single week. Again, she in Bodie's fridge or whatever, I don't know which one it was, there was like a hundred Hershey's bars. They're gone? A hundred Hershey bars? He's eating ten a day? That because that's insane. So um. stupid. Oops. I'm doing this for a short. Let's go to the black stuff. <laughs> oh, the laugh. Oh. It's like off-brand Crocs. Shouldn't wear off-brand. Like, she had to set up a tripod, leave her door open in the middle of winter so the heat's coming out. Are you serious? Let's go to the black showing. All right, you suck at even taking the lid off. That's not what's my fault. It's the it's literally the the black zone's covered in water. That's not what's my fault. What in the fresh? Can you not even put it on the thing nice? She has, takes no care whatsoever at all into anything. Yeah. 
Did she literally film this whole thing? Zoe's fridge. She did cut it out because it was blank. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, man. She can't even fit them in there. And again, most of the stuff doesn't need to be in a fridge, by the way. She could be spending this money that she does on like these kids having great experiences, getting personal coaching in sports, doing like going more horseback riding. Like you could, she could have bought horses. She could, they could have moved to a farm and had horses and farm life and everything else. She could be spending this money on so many other things like elite level sports, vocal coaching, piano, like coach, like all this stuff. And sometimes I know she does do that to a degree, but like instead this, these kids can have anything that they want and she just feeds them garbage. Like they could literally do anything they want with the money that she makes, and instead, this is what this is what they get. It, it, it's it's crazy to me. They are all filled up. Oh my gosh! I hope CPS sees this someday. Okay, that is it for today. Thank <laughs> you for restocking the kids' mini fridges with me. You are strong. You are gonna kill your kids good for you you're a loser you big ass loser did i miss zoe's refrigerator stock no you didn't miss it the fridge with the troll gummies but zoe didn't want to show up in the video i think why don't you just cook dash's bacon inside the stove oven instead of the snow <laughs> people get so upset when somebody else calls her out <laughs> this is child abuse all the sugar on healthy diets poor kids you're not teaching the children to make healthy eating habits this is disgusting they're going to be diabetic by the time they're 20 probably before that i'm guessing this is one of the only videos you've watched if you think the child abuse you've never clearly been abused this is child abuse sorry it just doesn't look like normal child abuse but it is you realize all the comments you made on her video pop up when you read this one so as much as you're judging her you sure do watch her okay thanks dumbass this is just for content purposes to make us angry she knows better than her that her children's health should matter to her why not take the videos how your actual life goes and not fake things you are killing your children go watch someone else okay chili <laughs> you're completely right tammy it's killing you more than her so stop watch <laughs> okay again this just goes to show the iq of the average doherty dozen watcher who goes to bat it's people clearly are mouth breathing nose pickers like they don't know they they're dumb they just you can't be this dumb sorry Unless you're dumb. This is so over. Like, go read the comments for yourself. Did you know you can get some ready-cooked bacon and just has to be microwaved? Comic Sans. <laughs> eating just one bag full of sugary candy makes me feel sick. So I can only imagine how they feel after eating all that junk. Yeah. Like, I'll buy a, a bag of, like, gummy candies. And it, it'll last in this house. Like, I have to throw the rest of it out. Okay? It just isn't good. Because it does make you feel like garbage. But once in a blue moon, you're out hard working. Grab a couple of gummies. Nothing wrong with that. But these kids are literally piling so much junk into their bodies that it's they become dependent it's like crack cocaine i think it's a kind gesture but not necessarily a smart one do you ever worry about your children's teeth i'm truly not trying to be mean i just can't imagine giving my kids so many harmful treats this kindness can backfire in a very very bad way mind your own shelly shelly's back shelly here white knighting for the docker he doesn't people get mad when she feeds your kids candy then also get mad that she's so strict on toothbrushing <laughs> and she can't win what okay her kids go to the dentist regularly. Worry about your life. Again, it's these same people, eh? Curious why she never videos them at the dentist and which toothbrush her dentist gives them. I would watch videos like that. Anyway, it is what it is. Alicia's disgusting. We know it. Alex is following in her footsteps and creating content that's just as bad or 10 times worse, actually. And he's suffering through all this because if you don't think this is going to eventually take a toll on him, it will. And it will affect his future. The stuff that he's putting out there, as much as it might be funny now, and it is funny. It's very, very funny because it's super cringy. It's just not going to end well for him. 
He needs to take stock. He needs to stop. He needs to get off the internet now and go live a normal life because this is going to backfire extremely hard on him. It's going to suck for him. And this is all Alicia. It's all her fault for doing this. Josh too, because he's not stepping in and protecting these kids at all. Do they not sit down and have a conversation? Like, we realize you're being bullied by literally hundreds of thousands of people on the internet. Maybe you should stop. Here are the things you should do so that you don't get that done to you. Right? And again, people are like, well, it's the bully's fault. Yeah. But he puts it out there and they let this, they, he lets the comments sit in his comment sections. He's learning to rage farm like Alicia does and he makes money doing it. You should never teach your kids to rage farm to make money. That's really dangerous. Okay? Everybody, take a deep breath. Please don't feed your kids like this. Please don't. Okay? Can we just agree that that's really disgusting and should never happen? Okay, cool. Yeah. You guys are awesome, amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. I will see you when I see you.